Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a foundation review. I've never done a foundation review, um, but Pure Cosmetics sent me their new four-in-one Love Your Selfie foundation, which is a concealer and foundation in one, as well as their Beholder Dual Action Complexion Applicator Brush. It's got like the well in the middle of it. So I thought we would test this out today. If I wear foundation, I don't wear a lot of it. So keep that in mind um, and we will get to the video. So you guys want to hear about this new Pure Cosmetics Foundation, just keep watching. I do want to say that they just sent me this color and I feel like this is like a really good match. I'm very red right now, I'm sunburned, so that's going to be a question as well. I only have my moisturizer, well it's the primerizer moisturizer, which and I basically use this moisturizer when I forget to put on a real, like real moisturizer. The 4-in-1 Love Yourself Heat Longwear Foundation and Concealer. It retails for $36. You get one fluid ounce. There are 100 shades in five complexion ranges. So there's a light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. And then a golden pink neutral undertone in each which for me undertone is more important than the actual shade because I have such a neutral undertone that everything if it's too yellow it looks way too yellow if it's too pink it looks way too pink so I'm very neutral and um, that's kind of difficult for me to find a true neutral undertone so that is interesting this is the claims energy complex a combination of ginseng green tea and vitamin B that helps boost the skin's natural metabolism and rejuvenate the look of skin a serotonin complex, which helps smooth, firm, and lift the skin's appearance for an ageless looking complexion. Lingonberry extract. Helps protect skin against abuse caused by high energy visible blue light. Oh. That's what lingonberry does. Polysaccharide film. Provides protective, breathable film on skin to help shield skin from environmental stressors like pollution. And there are blue zone inspired ingredients like olive oil, grape and black truffle extract, rice extract, and coffee seed extract, which promote skin health and wellness. It's vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free. There's the serotonin complex, energy complex, blue light defense, holy moly. So the whole thing about this foundation is it has a pump and then you can also twist off the cap and there's a doe foot applicator for targeted um, concealing so this is the concealer aspect of it oh yeah there is no scent to this and then the brush that they sent is one of those that has a little well in it so this is called the beholder it's $28 the beauty is in the eye of the beholder <laughs> this dual action foundation brush is the key to achieving flawless coverage densely packed with soft synthetic fibers to give skin a smooth airbrush effect the silicone interior applies liquid or cream products flawlessly while absorbing less makeup. Thank you. The large grip handle makes it easy to apply and spread product for a face, neck, and decolletage that's blended to perfection. Alright, so this is weird because I always do my eye makeup first. You know what? I'm going to do my eye makeup and then I'm going to come back and put the foundation on. Okay, now I can do my face makeup. I have shade LN4. They sent the shade to me. I didn't choose it. I think I said that my skin tone was light. I feel like this is going to be pretty close. So I think I'm going to pump some out first. Okay, so I put some on my hand and then I realized I probably should have put it in the well. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so the thing about the well is, um, you have to Okay, I don't really like this. <laughs> I've used one of these before and this type of brush just isn't my favorite. I prefer a flat top kabuki. I feel like the well is affecting how it blends and I just it's just not my favorite. So I think that the well is a good idea, but I just like how a brush applies it better. And then if you are a sponge person, I, I feel like you really won't like the well. I don't know. This is pretty light, but it actually matches my neck. I just 
my face and neck never match because like my face is always more tan than my neck. I mean, that's pretty good coverage. I just look, I look very pale. And then also all of my freckles are covered and that's weird to me. I do have a few things on my neck and then a little more redness on my nose that I want to cover. So we will put a little more there. I'm really enjoying that this has zero scent. Zero scent. One of the reasons that I don't wear a lot of foundation is it feels very heavy and this doesn't feel heavy to me. So I like that. My chin right here, if I have any dryness, it is always there. And everything clings to it, concealer, everything. So I can see a little bit of the dryness right here on my chin because I always have um, blemishes or acne scars because I'm a picker and I'm not supposed to, I know. So I can see that a little bit, but I can always see that no matter what product I put there. I can put the creamiest concealer in the world. I look so pale. But I mean, compared to my neck, uh, that's pretty spot on. <laughs> it's a pretty spot on match. Good job, Pierre. <laughs> doesn't feel, wow, this actually feels kind of good. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin and I like that because I don't like the feel of like stuff on my skin. I do see a little bit of dryness on my forehead. I, I think that this is pretty matte. So uh, maybe I would wear a more hydrating primer next time. Okay, so both my nose and my forehead are starting to peel because I got a little bit sunburned this week. If you have dry patches, I, I think that this probably will maybe cling to those a little bit. Um, I also didn't use a terribly hydrating primer, but otherwise it feels like nothing. It feels very lightweight. I don't feel like I have a mask on, which is how I feel a lot of the time I wear foundation. So I'm gonna try this when I'm not burnt and crispy. Let me put the rest of my face makeup on so I don't look quite so ghostly. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup on. I am really hesitant to say anything about the dryness on my forehead or my nose because I'm burned. I know that I got sunburned. Um, you could see that before I started getting ready. So I do think that if you have very dry skin, this maybe won't be for you, um, but I really like how it, it feels like nothing. I feel comfortable wearing this and I don't often feel comfortable wearing foundation. I'm going to put a little more on this guy, just go a little. I don't often feel comfortable wearing foundation. I don't like the feel of it on my face. It feels heavy. I can usually smell it on my skin and I cannot feel or smell this at all and I really, really like that. So. For, you know, certain occasions where, you know, if I have a wedding to go to or something and I want to have a little nicer skin, I, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is just about a perfect color match. I, I don't think I've ever chosen a more perfect color. How did they know? The brush, I'm just not a fan of this. I feel like I have to do more work to blend with this because I'm missing part of my brush. You know what I mean? For me personally, I don't really love this style of brush. The brush itself is fine, the bristles are fine, but I don't like the the missing part of the brush. I just It's just not my favorite. Um, the foundation, I, I'm just like so impressed that I don't feel anything on my skin. I think that's awesome. But yet it covered my redness, it covered my freckles. I can still see some of my freckles. This foundation is available on April 19th, the foundation and the brush. You can purchase them at purecosmetics.com. I will have the link to that in the description box. Um, are you guys going to pick up this foundation? Let me know. What are your thoughts? I do want to try it again wearing a more hydrating primer because the, the dryness is my fault. That's not, that's not the foundation. <laughs> the foundation is a thumbs up for me. I really like how this feels. I, I could see myself wearing this more regularly because it feels like nothing. I'm a big fan of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the um, comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.